Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about mulch kits. What I'm sitting on here is a 42 inch time cutter and we wanna show you how to put one on. We wanna show you how easy it is. I'm not a mechanic. Our mechanics are too busy right now, so you're stuck with me, but this is good because you're gonna be potentially at home doing this yourself and it's not something you do every day, so we don't need a mechanic with his magician hands, whereas the wrench just does everything you ask it to do, making it look easy. I'm gonna be dropping things and fumbling and doing it more like you may be doing it. All right, first off, your mower does not come with a mulch kit. It comes shooting grass out of the side. Now this is great. It's gonna make it cut really good. It's gonna make it cut tall grass well because everything's getting blown out of the side. The negative of this, sometimes the wind shifts and you get a ton of debris on top of you. Or if it's dusty, you have allergens in the air. Or you blow it into your pool or your neighbor's house. So a mulching kit is gonna bottle up all that debris underneath the deck and it's gonna chop it to fine particles. And then the particles are gonna fall back down into the grass and there's gonna be less debris in the air, less debris in your eyes, less allergens. There's gonna be more nutrients put back in your soil and you're gonna like the mowing experience a lot more. There, is, there are some negatives. One is because the mulch kit is bottling all that grass up, it puts your mower under greater load. And sometimes the cut is not as good because all those blades of grass are interfering with the blades making a fresh, clean cut. So a mulch kit has pros and cons. For a lot of people, the pros outweigh the cons. But sometimes you may buy this mower and it may get delivered to your house. You may mow a few times and then decide you wish you had added this at the dealership. So you can come in and pick one up. This is the part number. So 137, 70, 42. This is the current model mulch kit. We're gonna open it up and look at the contents inside. In a later video, we're gonna mow without a mulch kit and with a mulch kit to show you the different cut qualities. So a little instruction pack with a Tommy knob and a sticker that you can put on your deck when you're done to say that this is now a recycler mower, which that is Toro's trademark for mulch. This is a cover plate that's gonna be covering the discharge chute on the side. And you know, this used to be something that had to be bolted on, but now it's totally toolless. And it even has a kickstand so that your discharge chute can stay on and it will just prop it up in the air like that. And then there is this little plate. They've really made this kit super easy compared to how it was in the past. I won't even tell you what it was like, but it involved a lot more swear words. So this is really the only thing that has any kind of uh, hardware to it. And this hand screw is what's gonna hold this in place. So it's real easy, almost toolless. The only thing that may be a little challenging is getting your blades on and off, but it's really a problem you're gonna have to tackle at some point in time anyway. So these blades are the mulching blade. You see that the kicker has this inward kick that kicks the grass not only up, but in to be re-chopped by the blades. So we gotta get all this on this mower. All right, so I have a fancy tool here called the Jungle Jack. And I'm guessing you don't have one of these in your garage. The good news is this mower is light. With one hand, I can lift it all the way up. Be careful if you have a bad back, get somebody to help you with this. You probably have a box, a jack stand, a spare tire assembly that you can lift this up and prop up under there in your garage to give you access to underneath this deck. All right, so we got our mower up and secure. One thing that I haven't said yet, but Toro wants everyone to be very careful. Take the key out of your mower, make sure your blades are in the off position and remove the boot from your spark plug. I mean, all that's a little redundant, but it's all just to make super safe that this is not gonna come alive for any reason why your hand or head is underneath this deck. Now, you can lift this mower up, but you can also unhinge this deck and take it off pretty easily, flip it upside down on your workbench. But this job is so quick and easy that it's not really worth uninstalling your belt and your deck and doing all of that. If you can really get your hand just underneath the deck, you can almost pull this off, except for the blades. There's only three steps, so we'll try to make it short and sweet. The hardest thing is taking your blades off. Now, if you have an battery impact like this, it's not hard at all, but you probably don't. These are about $300. It's not your everyday household tool. 
DeWalt drill set with the little mini impact, it may work for this job. Um, this is either a 5 8 or a 16 millimeter. If you didn't have that, you could get a big ratchet and a block of wood to hold your blade in place while you take your blade off. All right, that is the open deck blade. And we're gonna replace that blade with these mulching blades. There's a little collar on the bottom of this spindle. It's important to hold the blade up on that collar as you tighten that bolt all the way down. All right, we tighten these mulching blades up. That's step one, done. That's the hard part. Now this plate really outlines the contour of your left blade. It's very, it fits in a very logical place. There's a hole already pre-drilled. It puts this threaded stud out the top and then this knob right here, if you could see up in here, goes on the top side. And you just tighten it with your hand. And that's it for that. That's step two. And then installing this plate it couldn't be easier. The front lip here has a slot. This comes back around and there is a rubber bungee hinge back here that just latches through there. And then this piece, this kickstand is holding your chute up and out of the way. If you were going to run a mulch kit, you could take this chute totally off if you didn't want it to get bumped or broken, fitting through tight areas. You know, and then your total clearance is really your deck only, it's not your chute. Taking this off is easy, it's just one nut on the bottom side here. The really cool thing about these new mulch kits is that they're pretty much toolless and they come out on and off with such ease that you really could put the mulch kit on during certain seasons and take it off during others. Like during the really heavy rainy season when you're bogged down in grass, pop this baby off and mow open. And then when the leaves are falling and you wanna mulch those things up, put this cover back on hand screw that plate back under and away you go you got a mulch kit that's it there you have it it's so easy a stew can do it and quickly too we got more mulch kit videos to come we're gonna mow with some with a mulch kit without and to see what it really looks like in the field thanks so much for watching share this with your friends don't forget to like and subscribe give us some comments down in the comments section and stay tuned because we have more mulching videos to come thanks so much for watching